Hi everyone, I'm Romain and uh, uh, I'm mostly work on um, viruses in wild animal populations. So the first thing I want to make a little list of things you might have heard about. So Andra, Nipah, SARS, MERS, uh, Marburg. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, that's an R, so it's place my writing. Um, and maybe the latest one, uh, Lorenzo mentioned it, Ebola. So Ebola in West Africa, La, up to last year was about 30,000 people infected, 10,000 plus people dead. So quite important and it'd be important to be able to predict and be, be better prepared for those kind of outbreaks. But why did I make that whole list of scary things? Well, it's because they have one thing in common and that one thing is not Batman, it's just the bats. Um, bats are actually infected with all those viruses and they don't die, they don't, do, they don't show symptoms, and they actually remain infected with those viruses. And the one thing I am trying to understand uh, during this uh, AXA Research Fund supported project is do we have periods of time when there is an increased risk? And we think that one important period for female bats is when they are giving birth. Why is that important? Well, there's one very specific constraint for a bat. When a woman's pregnant, she puts on weight, right? Bat can't do that because they need to keep flying. So they have to lose weight and to get into a very bad condition which makes them more susceptible to virus infections. On top of that, all the births happen at the same time, meaning that we have lots of females potentially infected in a population at the same time, which increases the risk of what we call spillover. That means the virus going from the bat to the human. Why does that help us to be able to predict when spillover might happen? It's because that may help us mitigate the risk of those spillovers by saying that at those period, maybe you should eat less bush meat. So you might not realize it, but bats are very important food in some places. And the species I work on, for instance, is eaten in numbers that are over 100,000 per year. Uh, the other thing is we might be able to be better prepared for when it may happen. The first few weeks of an outbreak are very crucial. So that's why it's very important to be able to better predict when the bats are infected. Thank you. Thank you very much.